Let's take a look at that smoke map once again. This is the surface smoke. I'll be showing this a lot throughout the summer season here. And uh, the fire uh, in Northeast Oregon, not right now producing a tremendous amount of smoke with the cooler weather today. That's good as it heats up. If they don't get real good control of this fire, we could start to see flares, but it's in sagebrush, which doesn't produce as much smoke necessarily as some of these uh, forest fires. Here's a fire down here that's producing more smoke west of Salt Lake City. We look at the next few days, you see that smoke getting caught up in the jet stream winds that are going off in this direction. So we'll be keeping an eye on that for you. In the meantime, keeping an eye on the long weekend forecast. The McCall area, we had that one thin band of clouds that just kept streaming over. Everybody else had sunshine all day long, and then the sun finally coming out. A little bit of a breeze, as I mentioned, on the lake. 68 degrees, room temperature, a beautiful day, but it is going to be heating back up. So here we go. Thursday, we're at 79. So we're already back up to near 80, above 80 on Friday, Saturday, 83. A slight chance of thunderstorms Saturday night. I think there's a chance of storms. I, I have haven't updated this, but I think we've got a chance for some thunderstorms again Sunday afternoon and evening. It could be breezy as well. Please keep an eye to the southern sky on Sunday and then on Monday. It's becoming likely now that there's a chance for some showers and some storms. I'm not seeing severe weather right now, but it's always a possibility, especially on Sunday. We'll keep an eye on that. Look at the temperatures cool through the weekend, so a chance for showers on Monday. It's not going to be an all day type rain type of thing like we've been having in the past. This will be a wave of showers that pushes through and then hopefully clears out for fireworks on Monday evening. Again, I'll keep you updated on the potential changes, but it's becoming more likely that Monday does have a chance for showers. Redfish Lake back up to 78 tomorrow after 35 in the morning, 81 Friday, 81 Saturday, and then the cooler weather starts to come in. We'll go partly cloudy as we go into Sunday and Monday. We drop all the way to 72, not a dramatic drop, and I'm not expecting thunderstorms in the Stanley Basin, but it's still a slight chance. I just don't think it's going to be a big deal. Right now, dry and clear, those westerly breezes bringing some of that cooler weather. It's now shooting on by from west to east. One day of this and the cooler weather goes by. Here comes the heat starting to build from the south. So there you go. 95 degrees. This is the forecast for Friday. Now we go into Saturday. We'll zoom in. I want to show you the green here. This is the best chance for thunderstorm Saturday night. Should be west of Hell's Canyon, maybe Seven Devils, northeast Oregon, up north of Riggins to uh, Lewiston. And then as we push ahead to Sunday, now we've got a chance of some thunderstorms forming that could form in the uh, McCall area later on. This is Monday afternoon. A better chance for storms with cooler we uh, cooler weather coming in from the west. So it's not really a big change from yesterday, but there's a chance again that chance is becoming more and more likely. It's not a significant amount of moisture, but it's a chance for lightning up in these locations here. Valley County, anywhere you see green, there's a chance for storms, especially up where I'm pointing here, Valley County and Adams County forecast for the rest of the evening. Lots of blue skies, temperatures in the mid 80s, a comfortable breeze blowing tomorrow. A nice start in the morning. If you've got plans early on, go out for a nice walk. It's going to be beautiful early on with temperatures uh, in the low to mid 50s, but then sunny and hotter very quickly in the afternoon. The temperatures start to shoot up and you realize, OK, we're back above 90 again, going into the lower 90s. While to the Boise and West Central Mountains, I think a pine and featherville at 80 tomorrow looks like a beautiful day coming up in the extended forecast or to say a 79 degrees in the McCall area, 87 in Riggins tomorrow so we get the heat and then Sun Valley catch them area uh, in Stanley temperatures at 78 extended forecast here we go temperatures heating back up mid 90s by Friday and Saturday the hottest weather I don't think we're going to see storms in the valley if we do there's a slight chance of the western valley there's going to be wind which could aggravate the fire situation on Sunday and we go from 96 down to 82 on the 4th of July I still expect it to be dry in the Treasure Valley Keep checking back for more updates.